In 1561, amid the fog of medieval superstition, a child was born in London, Francis Bacon. A thinker, a reformer, a rebel in robes. At a time when knowledge came from scripture and ancient texts, Bacon asked, shouldn't we observe the world instead of just believing what we're told? He rejected blind faith in authority and instead proposed something radical, the scientific method. Begin with observations or ask a question, form a hypothesis, test it again and again. His masterwork shattered old logic and called for a new kind of inquiry, one rooted in evidence. Bacon believed. His method lit the path for Newton, Darwin and the entire modern scientific revolution. But Bacon wasn't just a scholar, he climbed to the highest office, Lord Chancellor of England. And then he fell, accused of corruption, stripped of power, humiliated. But even in disgrace, his mind never stopped searching. In 1626, while testing if snow could preserve meat, yes, experimenting, he caught pneumonia and died. A philosopher to the end. Today, he's remembered not for scandal, but for something greater. He gave humanity a method to uncover truth, and a phrase that still shapes our world. Knowledge is power. Francis Bacon, the man who turned curiosity into science.